Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is day 10 of our 12 days of Christmas video series. I can't believe that we are so close to the end. Time has been flying by. In today's tutorial, we're going to make a vinyl wrap tumbler with a big glitter swirl down the side. This was so much fun to do and really, really easy to put together. I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there as well. All the products I'm using are linked down below in the description box, as well as links to our social media pages, our Facebook group, our exclusive Patreon group, and of course, you know I've got some discount codes down there for you as well. Okay, I hope that you like the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. We're going to be using a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven for this tumbler design and we're going to use a sheet of pattern vinyl from Expressions Vinyl. This one is named Season's Greetings. I got it last year and never used it and I wanted to use it this year. So for the glitter portion we're going to use Santa Baby from PDB. It's a gorgeous multi-size mix perfect for Christmas. So to get started with our vinyl wrap first, I'm going to use my little ruler trick to get a straight line on my cup. This will help me get the vinyl lined up straight when I apply it um, and my wrap will be a whole lot easier to apply. So once I've got that down, I'm going to pull back a little piece of the backing from the vinyl, cut it off so I have about an inch of the vinyl adhesive exposed, and then I'm going to line up the edge of my vinyl right with that straight line that I drew onto my cup. Then I'm going to test it to make sure that my wrap is straight and then just make a little mark with my pencil where the vinyl is going to start to overlap so that I can just cut that off before I get to wrapping everything on the cup. Then I'm going to test it one more time, make sure I didn't cut off too much. And it looks like my vinyl is going to line up perfectly, so that was pretty lucky. <laughs> so now I'm going to um, pull back the vinyl and then just start to push the backing off as I apply the vinyl to the cup. You guys have seen me do this a ton of times, but because this is a main feature of the design, I wanted to go over it a little bit more in detail just so you can see the full process. Once I had all the vinyl applied to the cup, I went up to the top rim and pulled the excess vinyl tightly up over that rim and then took my craft knife and went right directly across that top rim to cut off the excess and then went back in at a 45 degree angle to cut off that little straggler excess from the top. This is going to make things a whole lot easier for us later when we have to go in and sand and form our seal. I'm not going to cut off any excess overlap from the side of the cup because the pattern lined up perfectly, so I'm just going to leave that as is even though there is about an inch of overlap. And then for the bottom, I'm going to pull all of that excess vinyl up over or down below the bottom rim really, really tight, making sure I have a flat seal, and then just cut off the excess and we'll be good to go. So now I'm going to go in and apply the tape for my glitter swirl that we're going to add. So the first piece of tape I'm going to apply as kind of a guide for how I want my swirl to go. So this piece of tape is going to end up getting removed later. Um, I'm going to write the word swirl on it so that I don't confuse myself. But this piece of tape you'll want to apply in the angle that you want your swirl to go because we're going to use this as a guide to place our other two pieces of tape to actually tape off where we're going to apply the glitter. So I'm going to apply two more pieces of tape, one on each side of that swirl piece of tape. And this is where you'll decide how big you want this glitter swirl to be. You can make it, you know, take up half the cup. You can make it just a thin little stripe. However big you want to make it is obviously totally fine. So I decided to make mine just a little bit less than half the cup. I really want the vinyl to be the main character here, um, but I also want this glitter stripe to be pretty significant as well. So once I've got those two pieces of tape on the either side of my swirl tape, I'm going to remove that piece of tape. And now we've got our area for where we're going to apply our glitter. I'm going to reuse that piece of swirl tape on the other side because I'm going to tape off everything I'm not going to glitter, cross off the word swirl so I don't get confused again, and then apply another piece of tape so now we have everything blocked off except for our glittered swirl portion. Now what I'm going to do is check it out and make sure that my angles are correct on the top and bottom where it meets up. So I'm looking at it, kind of seeing, I want those points to almost meet up in the middle. So I ended up applying another little piece of tape to this top portion so that the angles 
were correct. So I just kind of swirled that around until it met up with the rest of the tape. So I just increased that point a little bit, if that makes sense. So now we've got this point and that point kind of are the same length. You can see it just looks a bit more even. And this is where our glitter swirl is gonna go now. So just checking out the other side. I didn't measure obviously or anything. So this is all just very eyeballed, <laughs> but it looks good to me. So we're gonna go right in with our glitter. I'm not going to base paint this because the vinyl is so busy and multicolored. I just didn't feel it was necessary, especially with the glitter that I'm using. But if you're using a different sheet of vinyl or a different glitter color, you'll probably want to go in and take the extra step just to add a spray paint base coat or acrylic paint, but it's totally up to you. So I applied my Crystal Lac Glitter Glue, just a very, very thin coat of that to the cup. And then I went right in with Santa Baby. Look how beautiful this is. And because this has so many different colors in it and everything, it really lends itself to not needing a base coat, especially on this dark vinyl glitter base. So after about two hours, the glitter glue is totally dry and I'm gonna go in and wrap my cup in parchment paper to get my glitter to lay down flat. I actually did this twice. So I did it once, rolled the cup around and then did it one more time. I really want that glitter to lay as flat as possible because that will make things so much easier when we go into epoxy. I tapped off any excess with some scissors and then I went in again with my glitter glue to seal all of this glitter in. Notice I have not removed the tape yet. We're going to do this after we get this sealing layer down. So I just squirt some directly out of the bottle of the glitter glue and then I go in with the same brush that I use pretty much all the time. It's a one and a half inch flat brush and just make sure I've got a really solid coat of the glitter glue on there and we'll let this dry for two hours before we go into epoxy. So here I'm gonna remove all of my tape. Be very careful when you do this. You don't want any of your vinyl to lift on those edges. So just take your time. But here we go. I'm going to let this dry two hours, throw it on my turner, and now we're ready to apply epoxy. I'm going to take 30 milliliters of a little extra ink epoxy and apply the entire 30 milliliters onto this cup. I'm going to go section by section. So I stopped my turner. Um, for this cup, I am applying the epoxy while the cup is on my turner. I am going to do the section of the vinyl first. Even though the glitter is really well sealed, I do not want any contamination. So I did the vinyl section first and then went in and did the glitter section with the epoxy. So we're really going section by section, being really careful not to drag any of that glitter into the vinyl portion. Once the epoxy is applied, I'm going to hit it really well with my torch. A little extra ink epoxy loves heat, so I just torch usually for one full rotation on the turner, make sure I get everything popped. I don't usually have issues with bubbles with a little extra ink epoxy. It's fantastic, so don't be afraid to torch that sucker. <laughs> I'm gonna let this coat dry about six hours and then go right in with a second coat. My second coat was about 20 to 25 milliliters, and I let that one cure overnight before I went in and did all of my sanding. I did a lot of sanding on the bottom rim to get that totally smooth and then really paid attention to the top rim as well. And now it's time to apply our vinyl striping. I'm going to apply two vinyl stripes to either side of the glitter swirl just to pizzazz it up a little bit. So the first one is this holographic chrome vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. It's so beautiful and colorful and I thought it went perfectly with the vinyl. Um, this one I cut out um, at 11 and a half inches long by 0.15 inches wide and I'm just applying that directly on the seam where the glitter and the vinyl meet up and kind of just letting my cup roll on my table and holding the vinyl steady so that we get a nice smooth borderline on there. And then I'm going to take the red vinyl, which is also from Tech Wrap Craft. I cut that out at 11 and a half inches long by 0 0.10 inches wide. And I'm gonna place this right up against that edge of the holographic vinyl to give us kind of a double stripe situation here. So this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to tape off the bottom so that we can paint it. Um, I was going to apply this red circle to the bottom and then I decided I just wanted to paint it. I didn't want the bottom to be too much of a statement piece here. So I'm taking some electrical tape now, taping off the bottom rim. I'm going to wrap it in saran wrap and then I painted it with Universe Blue from Montana Colors. I tried to find a color that was similar to the background color of the vinyl 
and this was the closest that I had. So I'm going to immediately remove my saran wrap and tape, let this dry about 45 minutes, and then go right in with my final coats of epoxy. The first coat after applying the vinyl was 30 milliliters of a little extra ink epoxy. I let that one cure about eight hours, and then the final, final coat was only about 10 to 15 milliliters. So once that was all cured, this cup is all finished. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I certainly enjoyed making this cup. I really love how it turned out. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And let me know what you think of this design in the comments. There's only a couple more days of our 12 Days of Christmas video series. I can't believe it's almost over. I've had so much fun doing this and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Okay, love you. Bye.